a big design ethos, uh, I would say, is really thinking about how we want to live, work, and play in the cities that we uh, live in today. Uh, for me, it's going in every single day and um, not necessarily knowing what I'm going to be doing that day, but really being inspired by all of the creative uh, people around me. Uh, we call ourselves Bigsters. We really like to share the knowledge that we have within the office with each other. So we have things like Big School where we actually teach each other the things that we're best at. Uh, we also go on study trips every two or three years where we get inspired by the places that uh, we find uh, most stimulating. A bigster would be someone, I think, who is in some ways a generalist, very good at many things, but also hungry, hungry in learning curious, someone who wants to uh, add more uh, to themselves uh, that sort of is continuously growing. I've actually looked through thousands of CVs. Um, I think that you can actually tell within the first few pages, the first few almost seconds or minutes that you're actually looking through these uh, materials, um, if someone has if, if that person's persona and passion is explained or presented in their material. So I'm looking very often for the, the kind of passion within a person. Uh, it never hurts to actually have someone vouch for you, someone that we may know and respect, having them say this is a person that really is uh, doing a lot of great work really, really helps. Uh, but then when we do interview, I think it's just being yourself um, and, you know, saying clearly what you have done, uh, where you're going and uh, what you still have to learn. We tend to receive all of our portfolios digitally at first and then during an interview process, people can actually bring the original works that they have. I think that architecture is a very important profession, primarily in the kind of political environment we're in, which is very polarizing. Architecture actually brings people together of all socioeconomic cycles and, and sort of, you know, whether they come from different countries or race or religion, uh, architecture really serves in terms of the public realm or in buildings uh, of bringing people together. So I think it's an incredibly important profession.